Many times clients contact my office with questions about guns that are not typical firearms. These are specifically BB guns, air guns, air soft guns, and paintball guns. Okay, let's start with the easiest first. BB guns are a firearm in New Jersey, okay? It's a third degree felony, punishable by three to five years in prison, and if you're caught with a BB gun, you can and would be arrested. Second, air guns. Air guns under New Jersey law are also considered a firearm based on the nature of the way that they shoot and the size of the bullets. Um, they have to be less than three eighths of an inch in diameter. Those are also considered firearms in New Jersey. The third and most complex one is airsoft guns. There has been case law in New Jersey that finds an airsoft gun, even though it shoots plastic pellets, can be a firearm. It depends on a couple of factors, specifically the size of the bullets, whether or not the bullets, the, the plastic pellets are less than three eighths of an inch in diameter and the nature of the damage that the gun can do. But just so you know, there has been case law that says an airsoft gun is a firearm in New Jersey. So you need to be very careful with that. Last but not least, paintball guns. Paintball guns are not a firearm. They shoot paintballs, they explode, and they can't do as much damage, so they are not considered firearms in New Jersey. However, always remember, if you have a paintball gun and you're shooting at your neighbor's house or at the neighbor's cat, uh, that would be considered a crime potentially, but the possession of the paintball gun in and of itself is not a crime. Toy guns. There are a number of recent regulations that New Jersey imposed on toy guns because they have problems when toy guns are black and they look like real guns and people are carrying them around, bringing them into places, and it causes a lot of issues. So there are a number of new regulations about the colors of the guns. They can't be black, blue, things of that nature, and they need to have the orange strip on them, the orange tip on the end of the gun so that it's very clear that they are toy imitation firearms and not real firearms. If a person is found to be selling imitation firearms that do not comply with these new regulations, that is a crime in New Jersey. Lastly, based on the recent incidents in the news and the unfortunate tragic death of someone on a movie set, the regulations in New Jersey regarding imitation firearms and toy firearms do not apply on movie sets. So it's an exception. If someone's on a movie set, they're allowed to have a fake black toy gun that does not have any of the orange plastic pieces on the side or on the tip uh, so that it's clear to everyone that it's a toy because they're using it in a movie. So the state of New Jersey is making an exception for that. If you need any assistance with all of these issues, contact my office. We're very experienced dealing with firearms and these types of offenses in New Jersey, and we always provide free initial consultations.